In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Jacksonville. At number one, we have the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. Sprawling across 117 acres, this urban oasis provides an immersive experience that blends nature and adventure. It hosts over 2,000 rare and exotic animals with 1,000 unique plant species. With its engaging exhibits, it offers visitors a window into wildlife's beauty and diversity. From elephants of the African plains to the majestic big cats of the Asian bamboo forest. At number two, there's the Kummer Museum of Art and Gardens. This cultural institution houses a broad spectrum of artistic endeavors from around the world. Its permanent collection boasts over 5,000 works, spanning from ancient artifacts to contemporary pieces. Alongside its indoor offerings, the museum's lush historic gardens gracefully border the St. John's River, offering a tranquil escape and a visual feast for nature lovers. At number three, we have Little Talbot Island State Park. Covering approximately 2,500 acres, this natural jewel is one of Northeast Florida's few remaining undeveloped barrier islands. A paradise for outdoor enthusiasts, it offers pristine sandy beaches, diverse wildlife, and a range of recreational activities such as hiking, surfing, fishing, and birdwatching. Coming in at number four is the Kingsley Plantation. As Florida's oldest standing plantation, this historical site takes visitors on a journey through time, highlighting the lives of the enslaved people who lived and worked there. Its well-preserved main house, slave quarters, barn, and interpretive garden offer valuable insights into the plantation era. At number five, we suggest the Riverside Arts Market. This vibrant marketplace under the Fuller Warren Bridge is more than a regular farmer's market. Every Saturday, local artisans, farmers, and entertainers gather to create a bustling atmosphere filled with fresh produce, unique crafts, and live music. At number six, there's the Caddyshack Ranch Wildlife Sanctuary. This nonprofit organization dedicates itself to the rescue and care of big cats, providing them a safe, loving, and forever home. With guided tours of the sanctuary, visitors have the opportunity to see lions, tigers, leopards, and cougars up close. At number seven, we have the Florida Theater. Opened in 1927, this historic movie palace turned performing arts center has been a cultural landmark for nearly a century. The venue showcases a variety of performances, including plays, concerts, ballets, and operas, all set against its stunningly preserved Art Deco architecture. Moving on to number eight, the Temukuan Ecological and Historic Preserve awaits. It's a massive 46,000-acre preserve encompassing wetlands, waterways, and historical sites. It offers a unique opportunity to explore diverse ecosystems and uncover 6,000 years of human history, including the Temukua Native Americans and French colonists. At number nine, we propose a visit to the Museum of Science and History, often referred to as MOSH. It encourages learning and curiosity through its interactive exhibits on science, local history, and the environment. The Brian Gooding Planetarium is a highlight, dazzling visitors with shows about the cosmos. At number 10, there's Jacksonville's unique neighborhood, San Marco. It's renowned for its Mediterranean-style architecture and vibrant art scene. Stroll through San Marco Square to discover eclectic shops, art galleries, trendy restaurants, and historic landmarks like the San Marco Theater. At number 11, don't miss the Fort Caroline National Memorial. It commemorates the short-lived French presence in 16th century Florida and offers a fascinating glimpse into early American history. Visitors can explore the replica of the fort, the visitor center, and the scenic trails overlooking the St. John's River. At number 12, there's Adventure Landing, an exciting family-friendly entertainment venue. With a water park, go-kart tracks, miniature golf, batting cages, laser tag, and an arcade, it's a paradise for those seeking a day packed with fun and adventure. At number 13, we recommend the Big Talbot Island State Park. Known for its iconic Boneyard Beach, where bleached-out tree skeletons line the shore, it offers breathtaking views and excellent opportunities for nature photography. Besides, it's a fantastic place for birdwatching, hiking, and kayaking. At number 14, the Ritz Theater and Museum stands as a testament to the vibrant African-American culture in Jacksonville. The venue combines a museum's cultural insights with the energy of a performing arts center, featuring exhibits, films, concerts, and other events related to African-American history. At number 15, the Jacksonville Baldwin Rail Trail is a must-visit. This scenic trail stretches over 14 miles, 
providing a paved path for cyclists, hikers, and equestrians. The trail is a fantastic place to enjoy a leisurely day amidst nature, and the former railroad corridor offers a glimpse into the area's history. Coming in at number 16 is the Jacksonville Farmer's Market. The oldest farmer's market in Florida, operating since 1938, it offers a vast variety of local produce, baked goods, seafood, and unique ethnic specialties. It's a foodie's paradise, and a fantastic place to explore the flavors of Jacksonville. Finally, at number 17, we have the Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens. This 120-acre urban woodland full of trails for walking and hiking is a wonder for plant lovers. With unique ecosystems, it is a serene place to enjoy the area's natural beauty and offers a peaceful retreat for residents and tourists alike. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Jacksonville. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.